Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome back to another new release review and for today it is finally time to review Avengers Endgame. Now before I get into it I would just like to make note that this is 100% a spoiler free review and the story takes place almost immediately after the events of Avengers Infinity War in which Thanos succeeded in his mission snapping his fingers and wiping out half of all existence. Now the remaining Avengers must band together and try to find a way to pick up the pieces and mend this broken universe. The first positive you guys without a doubt in my mind is the cast. Highlight career performances, their best performances in the MCU, and more than likely the best performances I have ever seen them bring to the table. They nail every single aspect that is required of them. They have become synonymous. Anytime you think of Captain America, you're automatically thinking Chris Evans. You think of Iron Man, you think of Robert Downey Jr. It's been this way for a while and it is cemented even further in this movie. Next is the action. Of course, this movie is a superhero movie. It's going to be loaded with action and it's no different here. It is definitely an Avengers movie. Whether it's the more personal close quarters combat or the big epic scale size superhero combat. Every single aspect when it comes to the action, perfection. Next is the drama and emotion. This is by far the most dramatic and emotional fueled movie in the MCU. And I literally bawled my eyes out, no I am not afraid to admit it, for the entire third act of this film. I experienced every single emotion you can name within this third act and I cried from pretty much every single one of them. It's just insane. Next is the comedy, and like I said, this is the most emotionally driven of the MCU films, but despite that, it still finds time for some hilarious comedy. I mean, sometimes, in typical MCU fashion, they might drop a joke here and there where it feels a bit misplaced, but for the most part, the jokes are well placed, the jokes land, and they are hilarious, just like they are in the rest of the MCU. Next up is the visuals. Again, we know this is a big budget movie, we know that they are going to handle it with care, we know it's going to look so real, and that's exactly what you get. This movie looks looks lifelike when it definitely should. The visuals are that good, there is so much in there. The visual team deserves all of the praise and rounds of applause. Next is the fan service because this movie is absolutely filled to the tippy top with fan service and twists that are going to blow your mind. Next up is the fact that you do not feel the runtime at all. This movie is three hours and one minute long, and I did not feel the runtime at all for this movie. It feels like a two hour movie, but it's actually three hours. That's how well paced and how much it keeps the momentum going. And lastly, for the positives, is the fact that this movie, it's the culmination of everything, okay? This is 11 years of building, of progress, of little bits and pieces here and there, leading up to this, from Iron Man to this. This, that's all clumped together as one section of the MCU titled The Infinity Saga. So anything going forward is going to be the part of something else for the next 10 years, 20 years, whatever it's going to be. That's going to be clumped together as something else. But from Iron Man to Endgame, that is The Infinity Saga. This movie somehow manages to bring every single storyline started over the last 11 years and ties them up into a satisfying, big, beautiful, epic, surreal, enthralling bow. Everything that this movie said out to do and wrapping up storylines it does but of course still leaves room for the future and despite all that there actually is a negative with the movie but it is just one negative something that really bothered me the whole way through and that is the fact that they make a change to one of the characters I'm not gonna say which I'm not gonna give you anything more than that they make a change it basically turns that character into a joke you're gonna know what I mean when you see the movie and I hated it from that point on the character was just completely laughable they were a joke I could not take them seriously and it really bothered me but other than that this movie folks it was everything I had wanted and so much more it surpassed all the hype for me it surpassed all the expectations and without a doubt in my mind a straight up flat out 10 out of 10. So if you like this video be sure to like subscribe and comment and let me know what were your thoughts on Avengers Endgame and please do not post any spoilers in the comment section. I don't want this movie being ruined for anyone else. This is a spoiler free review so try to leave the comment section spoiler free as well. As always thank you so much for watching and that's a wrap.